This is it, folks. The finals of the Blitzball Tournament. But before we do that, we have to get a big fat elephant out of the room. And no, I don't mean Kamari is fat behind. Sure you all right, Captain? Oh, he's fine. The game starts in a few minutes. You sure you okay? We're playing the Gores, too. <clears throat> Miss me? Lady Yuna! Are you She's okay? okay? She's okay. All this because of me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, how can you let some outbed kidnap you? Hey, but not just some outbed. Hey, let, let it go, go all right? Racist. Don't go near outbed anymore, okay? They're trouble. Well, you kicked their <laughs> ass in blitzball, so they obviously not, must not be trouble. Alright, let's save. And, uh, maybe, just maybe, we'll come out of this tournament alive. Yeah, no. No, we're not. I'll get to that in just a minute of why I hate this section of the game. Please, but, uh, don't tell anyone about Yuna's lineage. Wake <clears throat> up, Buttercup. Ah, uh, the game starts soon. No time for warm-ups. Ready? Let me at him. All right. I got something to tell you, boys. After this game, I'm very Lulu. Oh wait. I promised myself this would be my last tournament. Win or lose, I'm quitting Blitzball. Good, cause you suck at it. But you know. Since we're here, we might as well win! Yeah! Uh, mind the uh, Should I tell him? I'm warm on the bench. He's taking my place. Alright boys, let's win this one! Let's make the goers goners! Let's blitz! Aw, <gasps> they're gonna have a cute I moment. saw you floating there, on the sphere. Oh, hey, you weren't supposed to see that. Hey, keep it PG, guys. <sighs> wow, subtle, guys. Real really subtle. gave it your all, didn't you? All right, boys, what are we gonna do? Win! For Captain Walker. This is it, folks. In just a few minutes, the championship game. Oh, here we go. But who could have imagined? A championship game between these two teams. Our legendary Luca Goers going against the horrendously ill-fated Besaid Orox. This and looks the like history in the making, outing. Baba. And there's the man himself. Oh my god. I haven't seen him since level one. Where the fuck have you been, man? Well, obviously you weren't dead. That would have been awkward. 
kind of reminds me of another game I know. Ah, uh, never mind. Probably wasn't very good anyway. Oh, and here come the fuckers. Yeah, I gotta call them the fuckers. Don't. Don't judge me. I hate this part of the game. <sighs> Try me, pretty boy. Oh, wait. Wrong pretty boy. Yeah, no. They're already going at it, folks. You motherfuckers. The goers are taunting the Aurochs. Actually, you know what? Let's just take a moment here and just rant about why I hate this part of the game. Okay, so I just want to make clear that yes, I am ranting on for a bit. And if you want to skip ahead, uh, I will provide a skip ahead thingamajig in the video itself. However, unfortunately, I have to talk about this section of the game. Okay, so basically... The Blitzball game is this, is a series of complicated mechanics that, and in order to actually get more of Waka's overdrive abilities, you actually have to play the Blitzball game and win. Now, that in and of itself is bad enough. However, in this particular, in the championship game, it's the fact that not only are the goers basically taunting you, it's like the announcers and the ref, they 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 even say it that the ref during the uh, this the El the first arc game, where Rocka gets tackled, they don't even call the foul on it. That's clearly favoritism. So obviously the the goers are gonna get some favoritism here. It doesn't help that your team is at a severe disadvantage, starting off. And if you actually want to see the gameplay of what happens from my perspective, uh, I will, I may consider actually posting that, but I'm not, but I just decided I'm going to skip ahead. I, I absolutely hate this section of the game. Everything else I can actually live with. I can live with Seymour being an asshole. I can live with the, the, uh, the Albed desert. I can live with, uh, the Bevel um, close your trials. I can even live with the fact that I have to deal with Seymour four times. There's four boss fights. But this, this is subjecting me to hell. And I've been there before. Trust me. The only, the only saving grace is that you, be, this is where you actually get Arn in your party, finally. And everything else after this is actually pretty good. Like you get to you get to ride a chocobo, you get you get to fight a real boss this time. Um, you got the chocobo eater. Every, everything else after this part is good. It's better than this part, in my opinion. As and it doesn't help that back on Kilka Island at the Kilka Temple, the 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 goers are just. They're so cocky. It's like, come on, guys. And they clearly got a lot of favoritism. It's it's not. It's it's unfair, and I just I hate it. Basically, everything else I can deal with, as I said before. But it's not only that, but it's just. Well, whenever I decide to post the the actual gameplay of the, uh, of what happens during my experience with the with the, the game you'll see why but basically i've always been under the impression that the that the goers have basically cheated they've either paid off the ref or they somehow cheated and they've rigged it so that it's always in their favor that or they probably could have intimidated a couple teams to actually throw the game it's entirely possible but then again you also have characters like donna who basically are well, you know, they disrespect Yuna and her lineage. It's like, that's that's not right either, but that's not the point here. Basically, my 
I just I hate the goers, and I'm glad that we get past this this part in the story. And I just want this section to be done and over with. So now that that's out of the way, and I can actually preserve some of my dignity, back to the video. Why did I do that? The fans are getting impatient. They're calling for some action. The Auroch spirits are fading quickly. Are they going down without a fight? Hell no. Oh good, they're cheering for Walker. I mean, Walker did win the first game, so... I guess there's that. Everyone seems to be calling for Waka, folks. Yeah, that's right, goers. You can kiss my ass. Say, where is that player going? He's leaving the sphere pool. He may be injured. No. He just realizes it's Waka's show and not his. Go get him, Tiger. To be honest, I did kind of feel left out. But it really was the Oryx and Waka show after all. I wonder what's happening. The crowd is going wild. Oh, it's Waka. Waka. He's back on the field and ready to go. The Aurochs seem glad to have him back. The Aurochs may have lost the game, but what a way to go! Yeah, unfortunately they beat us 2-0. Fuck. Getting any, uh, I don't know, World Cup or uh, soccer vibes, or is that just me? E. He's doing the uh Oh, fishies! Wait, how did they get in here? Oh, I 
break! Watch, Yuki Moto ripoff here is gonna save the day. Instead of the three Egyptian god cards, he would have been freaking invincible. Why do I have a feeling that Seymour is gonna have his? He has a bit of a savior complex, or is that just me? You're really leaving, Captain? Shouldn't you heal up first? Yuna needs me with her now. I can't be lying around in some bed. Yeah, but... Come on, look sharp! The blitz season just started. Don't make those faces, yeah? Well, see ya, boys. You be good. Captain. I can't hear you. Captain! Are you sure? Never liked long goodbyes anyway. Sorry for making you wait, Yuna. I have some promises to keep, yeah? From now on, I'm your full-time guardian. Then welcome back, Sir Waka. Good to have you with us. Hey. It's good to be back, yeah? So, any news on what happened? Not really. We don't know where the fiends came from. Maester Micah is safe and sound, thanks to Maester Seymour. That's about it. Maester Seymour's Aeon... It was so powerful. Hey you! Don't just stand there! All of this is your fault! Getting swallowed by Sin, ending up here in Spira, not being able to go back to Xanarkin, everything, everything! Ugh, I'm telling you, it's all your fault! <laughs> Who are you anyway? You knew my old man, didn't you? Yeah. And you also knew Yuna's father? That's correct. Hey man, there's no way. That's just impossible. Nothing impossible about it. Jacked. Raska and I, together we defeated Sin ten years ago. Then I went to Xanarkand, where I watched over you, so that one day I could bring you to Spira. Why did it have to be me? Jack asked me to. Is he alive? It depends on what you mean by alive. 
he is no longer human. But then, I felt something object there in that shell, couldn't you? You must have felt him when you came in contact with Sin. Whoa, it can't be. Deal. Luke, I am your father. No, it's no it longer It is. Sin is checked. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, no, that's feelings. ridiculous. No way. I don't believe you. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. But it is the truth. <laughs> You'll see for yourself. Come with me. If I say no? Every story must have an ending. Now, I don't care about your stories! I mean, he has every right to be mad. I see. Sorry you feel that way. Fine, then. Come or don't come, it's your decision. What am I supposed to say? You tell me it's my decision! But I don't have a choice, do I? You're the only one who can tell me what's going on anyways! I have to go with you, I have to! Irritating, I know. Or are you afraid? Is Anakin? That's up to Jekt. I'm going to offer my services to Yuna. Come. Anybody else getting Empire Strikes Back vibes here, or is that just me? Well, next episode is going to be hilarious because it contains the infamous laughing scene. Anyway, that's it for now. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.